So the story begins, in 1956, we see a small child from France, who used to come to the church and help his father in most of his work. The father was very powerful, the child finishes all his work today and goes to the wine cellar to keep the wine. The cellar is actually called a small church, that is, a small church. Then he feels some excitement here and a scary voice comes, the child was very scared and goes and calls the father. When the father comes there, he has holy water there, that is, the water from which the ghosts and souls could be driven away are used to cure any disease. He was boiling fast there, after which the water becomes steam and flies away. There is also a shadow there, and then a scary scene was in front of the eyes. This shadow was not of anyone else but of the demon nun, who blows that father into the air, sets it on fire and kills it. In the upper part of the church, that demon nun is seen. There we see a man taking a bag. Now in the story ahead, we see a sister Irene. She was living her life by staying in another church. There was also a girl Deborah, whom her dad had sent to church. Irene talks to him that my dad did not like me at all. He did not like her because Irene often knew what was going to happen before. Anyway, here in the church, talks were going on about the nun demon. Now the story of Shiva is again in France. We see a hostel school, where a man named Morris used to work. A madam used to run that hostel. She talks to Morris in a lot of anger. The reason was that the son of that madam had died in the chapel of this school a few years ago. Because of which she became irritated. This was the only reason that she used to talk to everyone in anger. In this school hostel, a very cute girl Sophie also studies. She has a very good friendship with Morris. Here are some girls who often used to trouble Sophie. Morris always saved them from them. But there was something wrong with Morris. He used to do strange things. One day when a girl comes to school to give luggage, she sees Morris in a strange condition. He was sitting outside eating cockroach. Because the school madam had told to clean the red bag of cockroach. Suddenly the demon nun comes out of Morris and kills that girl. There was a demon nun inside her too. Means the man we saw at the beginning of the story, who had a bag in his hand. He was no one else but Morris, who had a nun inside. That demon nun was not killing everyone like this. There was some secret behind it which we will come to know in the story. There was a strange thought coming to Irene too. She sees Morris in a dream, who was asking for help from him. Suddenly the demon nun comes and scares her. Due to which her eyes were opened. Because of which she gets very scared. One day the same girls, who used to trouble Sophie, take her to the chapel. Where the madam had stopped everyone from going. There was a goat on the window. She plays a game with him. She says, you have to go and see by lighting a torch in that goat's eyes. Those eyes are of the demon. If you pay any attention, then the demon will come and kill you. When Sophie was looking at her, the girls who were troubling her, cleverly leave from there. Sophie was now completely alone. Suddenly there is a commotion there. There Sophie saw the demon nun, due to which she gets scared. Anyway, then Morris comes there and saves her. On the other side, Sister Irene is shown, whom the father calls to him and says, that priests and nuns are being killed again in different cities. They say that a father was burnt and killed in France. They were talking about the same father, whom we had seen in the beginning of the story. They say that the demon nun has come again. She did not die. You can defeat the one whom you had fought before. Irene says no, now I can't do anything like that. They say no, now you have to see all this. Because it is a matter of the world and humanity. You will have to investigate this case. Hearing all this, Sister Irene gets control over her fear and leaves. To solve this case, Irene leaves for France. Where the father was burnt and killed. That's why Deborah also sits quietly with him in the train. When Irene sees this, she says, you should not have come like this. If the church finds out that you are coming with me without telling, then the church will remove you. Deborah says, nothing like that happens. You know, my mom was also burnt and died. I did not see any miracles. Hearing all this, Irene says that when there is faith, then there are big miracles. Then they both reach France. As soon as they reach the church, Irene thinks of the same child again. The child whom we saw with the father at the beginning of the story. Now she sees him playing there. When Irene asks about the incident of that day to that child, then she says that yes, I saw a shadow in the church that day. That's why she sees a nun here. Here the books in the library themselves take the form of a nun. That demon nun had strangled Irene. Irene sees another nun, whose eyes were being pulled out. That's when she falls unconscious. Here Deborah comes quickly, who had taken care of her. There was also a strange incident happening in Sophie's school. The demon nun comes again and again in Morris. That's why everyone was very scared in the school. Irene was also quickly conscious in the hospital. Here she remembers that Morris had saved her from the demon nun for the last time. And since that demon nun has possessed Morris, she has been in her control. 
Now Deborah comes to her and tells her that a child has given her the sign of the Holy Cross. This was the same child whom we saw at the beginning of the story. There was a strange sign on that cross. All the people who had died, this sign was also made on their Holy Cross. Going to the library, they find out that this sign is a family sign, which is associated with a very big priest, the family of Saint Louis, and the nun priest that Irene had seen in her imagination, whose eyes were being taken out, those were the eyes of Saint Louis, which is a very powerful thing, which has been hidden somewhere. Irene finds out that all these people are from the family of Saint Louis, who have died. That demon nun had a special purpose. She wanted to kill all the family members of Saint Louis and reach their eyes. She wanted those eyes so that all her lost powers would come back. Here the librarian also tells Irene that that demon nun used to be an angel, whom God took out and took away all her powers. He also tells the address of that place, where they can get information about everything. He tells that those eyes have been buried in an empty chapel a little far from here, where there used to be a factory of wine and liquor earlier. But later a hostel school was built at that place. The librarian was talking about that hostel school, where Morris used to work. That means Morris was looking for those eyes in that hostel school on the pretext of work. That means that demon nun, who had possessed Morris, was looking for her. As soon as she hears this, Irene and Deborah leave for the hostel. Then we see that who was sitting in front of that chapel, hitting his head, which is also seen by the school madam. She brings him to his senses and says that you were not well. Go and rest for a while. Morris was saying this again and again, that I don't know how I came here. That's when the madam starts hearing strange sounds from that chapel, which she wants to open the lock and see there. That's when she sees the ghost of her own dead son there, who was scaring her. Here the soul of the madam's son was not being controlled by anyone else, but the demon nun. Now she uses the soul of the madam's son, and kills the madam by making her die. The body of the madam is found, which was in a very bad condition, due to which all the children living in the hostel were scared. At night when all the children were dancing to divert their attention, Morris and Sophie's mom were dancing. Then suddenly Morris started feeling unwell. The cross mark on his neck was now in a very bad condition. There Irene and Deborah also reached the hostel, who tells Sophie and her mom to stay away from Morris now, because Irene had found out that the demon nun was in Morris. That's when the demon nun wakes up in Morris and says, hello sister. Saying this, Morris runs towards that chapel, seeing her going towards the small church. Irene tries to stop her, but that nun attacked Irene and threw her away. Deborah was also trying to stop that demon nun, but she couldn't stop her. That's when sister Irene gets up and starts reading something again, which weakened the demon nun inside Morris. Then Deborah quickly goes in, hits Morris in the head from behind, which made him unconscious. She ties him up and puts him in a place so that he can't go anywhere from here. And now taking some sisters with her, Irene and Deborah go inside the chapel so that they get those eyes there which the demon nun was looking for. Sophie also goes with them to that small church. She also shows them that window on which a goat was made. She says that maybe the family of Saint Louis made it so that the next person who is related to them or comes here from their family gets those eyes. She tells them that if the sun shines on the goat's eyes, they shine. Now to see this, Deborah holds a torch in her hand. When she hits it on top of it, laser light comes out of the goat's eyes, which tells them the way where the eyes are buried. Now she takes it out, which was locked in a box. At that time, Morris also woke up. The demon nun starts scaring all the children outside in her real form. Deborah goes there and saves those children. They all ran and went to a room where the ghost of the same madam scares them, who was killed by the demon nun in the chapel. Irene was also there with Sophie. Possessed Morris also came there who tries to snatch special eyes from sister Irene, but Sophie takes them and runs away, which was locked in a box. She reaches up, where the building was also about to break from one side. All this was happening because of the power of those eyes. Then a bright yellow light comes out of them, which now the demon nun could not come near. But still Morris, that is, the demon nun inside her, was going to go to Sophie. Then Irene comes there, who takes her and puts her in the middle, which brings out a very powerful light. And because of that, Morris was now suffering a lot. Everyone thinks that he is dead. Seeing this, Sophie is very sad because Morris was her very good friend. Now when Irene goes to check her, but she was alive. This was just a trick of the demon nun to trap her. Now the demon nun quickly picks up those eyes. She got all the power again. She came back to her real form again. Those eyes were now in her eyes. Then she caught a girl in the hostel who always bothered Sophie. Inside her mouth, that nun bites her nails. That demon nun had become so powerful that she was going to pick up Irene in the air and kill her. 
just like she killed her father at the beginning of the story. Then Irene sees her mother here. Her eyes were also shining. That means Irene was also from the family of Saint. Louis. She had the power inside her. She awakens the powers inside her and extinguishes the fire that means if you are from the family of Saint. Louis, you can defeat those evil powers. Now seeing all this, the demon nun gets very angry. That's why she attacks Sophie. Irene tells everyone here to pray. She notices that there is wine here. Because as the librarian told her, there used to be a wine factory there. And by praying on wine in the church, it becomes the blood of Jesus. Now they both believe when they do all this. That wine turns into blood and kills the demon nun. Irene had sent her to hell. We are shown everything, being absolutely fine. Now at the end of the story, we are shown two paranormal investigators who could talk to the ghostly souls who got a call from the church. That means they had to solve a new case. And with this, the story of this film also ends here.